Gosh, it must jump. Go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, first off, what we're going to do, first off, take this right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to um, the part car. We're going to take you to the part car, right? Teleport you to the part car. Good already. I think the location. Good. Then we are. Uh, then we uh... My hook's not here. Oh, no, she is. Good. There we go. Stars are like candies. Wow. So everything outside the window is the universe? Oh, yeah. The stars look like candy. Endless candy. I'm glad you like it, huh? I don't think they make candy that size. Oh, if one I could grab them. You're pretty stupid for an honorary member. How can you grab stars? Look, why are we playing along with the fudge? Man. All these stars oh, surrounding it. us? The Express is like a traveling theme park warp jumping through candy. Glad you like it. Which means you live inside a warp jumping candy theme park. Oh, not fair. Mm -hmm. Ready to start our adventure, boss hook? Oh, damn say boss hook. <laughs> Route. Glad you like it. Ahead, honorary member. Okay, now we have to read this and then you know, one minute, a sizable bounty is an offer. Reports from the Curio Collection squad on the front line state that a type of Curio called a, X a Xeno Hydro has been spotted in the space station. Minge hereby is issues a wants notice to all herder researchers and partners. If you have any information regarding the Dino Hydro, please immediately come forward and report it to the reception hall. A sizable bounty is an offer. Who's Minged? I know that's you, but what, who are you? A massive influx of information is coming in all at once, and yet not even a single relevant clue has been found to lead to anything. Patience, everyone, listen to me. Carry on with your search and go to the reception hall if you have something to discuss. To discuss. Okay. This is just here. Sampo. Huh. Bam. Okay, sure. Bam, I've been thinking about something, I think. After being in the business for so long, I'm really tired. I want to quit. What do you think? I can't say for sure. Is this some kind of new... <laughs> Is this some new kind of scam you're pulling? <laughs> you're so funny. And why would I do that? I've always been loyal to my fans. I just want to do a small business and live a simple life. That sounds good to me. For that to happen, I have to have a capital. Got a shower. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Haven't finished yet, friend. Hello? Are you really showering? Where's your honor dude? Oh. Anyone there, Henry? The next performance of Mechanical Fever is about to start you coming. Of course I'm coming, yeah. I've been a fan of Mechanical Fever for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Don't get too excited. Okay, fine. Anyway, if you are coming, I'll save a good seat with you. Don't forget to buy flowers for us. You'll probably get called up on stage. Ooh, it's better not to go then. I'm getting called up on stage. I've already told several. You agreed to come and you can't back out now. Let's just switch to the team because uh He's better to have at the moment here. Yeah. Guardian Shadow, here we are. It's you surreal, huh? Ain't it? <laughs> This thing seems a little different from the other fragmenting creatures. It doesn't seem to have any desire whatsoever to attack. Perhaps I can avoid a tough fight. Who are you? Are you talking to me? You, are you real? I haven't seen a stranger in a long, long time. My Stefan is gone. They've all gone. Everyone. Is this so real? Yep. The people I trusted, the people I was close to, they've all left me. This city has abandoned me. Stefan, I remember that name. Could she be? Is that you, Cyril? Yes, it is. Do you know me, stranger? You. 
Hey, Monsieur Stefan, send you to meet me. Sorry, I don't know him. Oh, that's okay. I can feel it too. You really don't have his scent on you at all. No scent? Okay. Nobody is coming here for me anymore. I'm not smart enough, not strong enough, not independent enough, but, all I, but I know all that. I've been lying to myself all this time and living that way for so long. I'm so tired of it. You stranger, I don't understand. How do you know my name? But never mind. I don't want to get into it any further. Too much questioning will only lead to more pain. It's always been the case. You're my only witness, my, the final witness. The fact alone is comforting enough, knowing that I don't have to wander around in eternal loneliness. What are you thinking about right now? I have a favor to ask, the killer. I want to know why my fate is like this. I guess the answer is still in here, but there's nothing I can do about it. Will you help me, stranger? If you can help me find the answer, I'll tell you everything there is about me, no secrets. My story may not be that interesting, or perhaps you'd like to hear it, right? I hope you do. I'll help you, I want to hear your story. Thank you, I was afraid that you'd say no. I've got no place to go, I'll be waiting for you here. If you want to give up, that's okay, I'm just a shadow. And I'm not able to begrudge anyone, even if they trick me, and I don't feel sad either. Oh, golly. <sighs> Is that we can move that there? Then this one can go here. And then we push this one like this here. This here. And rescue, there we go. And I think that's all of them, yeah. Good. Oh, free chest, sure. Looks good. Yeah. Well, I'm getting the burst of tragedy and in one cup. That doesn't sound good. Finish all the full puzzles in the mission of Vessel Mediocrity, sure. What's this one? Open 110. Open treasures a hundred ten times. Find all the fool's box treasures, okay, sure. I think she's a fool, then, hey. Noted. Hello, Guardian Shadow. I see the truth now. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me the truth, stranger. I don't know how to repay this kindness, as you can see. I can't exactly do anything right now. But at least I can fulfill my previous promise to you and tell you my story. Would you like to stop and listen? Yeah. You are so gentle, stranger, as gentle as Mr. Stefan. I'm Cyril, the supreme guardian of Bellabog. I know I don't deserve to be in such a high position. If it weren't for my sister going off, then for no reason at all. I'd never have been able to take this path. Luckily, I have Mr. Stefan by my side. He is my teacher and dear friend. He's given me countless pieces of invaluable advice and helped me through crisis after crisis. Why do you linger around here? I'm confused, confused about the cause of my death. But he helped remove any element of confusion and I can finally face my destiny. I was born a fool and died for my foolishness. I failed everyone who ever put their faith in me. I failed to uphold the duty and prestige of a supreme guardian. I slipped and fell into that open box, ending my life in a way that's destined for ridicule. Perhaps at the end of my life I was caught up in a vortex of shame, but I've wandered into this purgatory for far too long to feel any sadness or shame. All I want now is peace. Stranger, I can feel your power. Compared to my cowardice, you exude such a strong calm aura. I beg you for one last piece of generosity. I hope you can bless me with everlasting peace. Killer, okay, I mean, fine, whatever. I understand what you mean. Thank you. Thank you for leaving me with this one shred of dignity. Hey, why are you fighting me, dude? Move carefully. Everything is ordained. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. I'm removing everything else. Carefully. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Hey, care about your punishment? Well, actually, I should probably heal. I'm really the team that you damage based on how much I attack her. What's the rule? Uh, I'll be hurt, but whatever. I'm on guard. 
Two clean. That's one down. Oh, almost two down. Fudge, man. First we're gonna hit this. Why would I hit anything else, you know? This should kill. Mm, we're pretty good. Take the skill. Well, technically, you have the skill, but it's not a skill. Who cares? You can't hit me when you're staggered, bud. Give a buff just in case. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Oh, look, actually, this. There we go. If you did lose your way. Thank you, stranger. I'm sorry, Mr. Stefan. I'm not who you're looking for. The real echoes dissipate amidst the howling of the icy wind. A golden ornament remains on the ground, quietly waiting for you to pick it up. Pick up Cyril's relic. So, Cyril was actually a supreme guardian. How unbelievable. How can these echoes of Earth be so powerful that they took on human form in the Fragmentum? And why was it accompanied by all those weird mock puzzles? I should take a relic back to the Overworld. There must be someone who knows about Cyril's past as a Supreme Guardian. Heck yeah, we're gonna do that. Hmm. Because Brownie would definitely know. Please keep quiet. A tall bookshelf. It would be better if there were no books in it. Hey, Ronya. If you walk with your head down and your heart full of fear, your steps will grow heavier and your spirit will suffer. But if you find something to look up to and move forward with hope, then your steps will grow lighter, and if you should fall, you'll be on your feet before you know it. Thank you for teaching me this, Trailblazers. Do you have time to chat, Ronya? Of course I do, anyway. I've always benefit benefited lots from our discussions. I'm sure I want to ask her, but she doesn't know about it, man. How does it feel to be the Supreme Guardian? For me, it's just a title and nothing more. I'll stick... I'll still stick to doing the right thing, with or without this title. But not from the point of view from of the people. For them, the Supreme Guardian is a powerful symbol, not just of the city's leadership, but also of, of a future with hope. So I have to re-examine my thinking more critically. I have always... I have to always bear in mind that every decision I make could affect the lives of thousands of people. It's a heavy load to bear, to be honest. I don't even know if I can do it, but I'm lucky, because I don't have to go through it all alone. What plans do you have next? And the number one priority is to revitalize Bellabog. Ah, it still sounds so vague, doesn't it? As for specific actions, I think the number one priority is to re reorganize the economy of Bellabog. The blockade has had a huge impact on the overworld and underworld economies. Right now, ordinary miners in the underworld can't bear the high cost of living in the administrative district. If things don't get better, then you can forget about reintegrating the overworld and the underworld. I've booked meetings with several of the finance ministers to try to hammer out a basic direction for reforms. Of course, this is only the first step in a great revitalization plan. I hope it will be a strong start. I'm like a Colio. Keep your voice down anyway. As for mom, all I can do is keep myself from remembering how she looked before she passed. Anyway, no matter what she might look like to you, Madame Cacolia was my only living family. Everything that has made me depend into the person I am, I owe it to her teachings. I don't know what she started going astray, but this whole time, all she's ever done has been to shower me with love, and I don't think that's a Stellaron inf Stellaron's influence. Honestly speaking, the thought of not seeing her again always wells up, always wells me up with tears. Yet now is not the time for me to show my vulnerable side. So let's talk about something else, anyway. Yeah, I'm, it's Eula here. She must have get stuck in some material change, rather than stick around in this lifeless office. He was always thinking about the underworld. You can't stop someone like that from leaving. Eula is a doer. She can't do what she does best at the negotiation table. She knows where her strengths lie. And as a friend and fellow fighter, I support her choice. Besides, if I send a signal asking for her help, I know she'll return to me, and that's all I need. Thanks for your time, Bronya. I feel hoping Bronya would know more about it. Know more about it here. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Here. Where is it, man? Q. 
Can me Pilo would know actually. Maybe Pilo might know here. Pilo, here we are. Year 301, year 302. Hmm. It seems like the archives of fortification year 232 are in order, and that should be. What are you doing? Don't disturb me, I'm sorting out the archives. Yeah, why did you get here? Hey, when did you get here? Ah, did to give you a fright. Ah, how old are you? Stop acting like a kid. Um, which year was it just now? Alas, forget it. It's time I take a break after all the work. I'll keep you company then. What can I do for you? Can you take a look at these wanted posters? Wanted posters? What are these for? Haven't these been removed yet? Heck, <laughs> I mean, what the heck is the captain up to? Uh, I, I, I've never seen those before in my life. <laughs> what wanted posters? Never heard of them. You can take those away. Keep them or do whatever you want. Goodbye. Hang on, I have something to ask of you. Ugh. Who painted these magnificent portraits? I don't know. They're so beautiful. Who could it be? I'd love to know. Are you sure it's not you? How do you know? <laughs> no, I said nothing. Don't look at me like that. I confess, I confess to everything. These wanted posters, I painted them. Are you happy? No way, why haven't you painted one of me? You, you're you asking too much. <laughs> I never painted you because because I forgot what you look like. Sorry. Well, I've already said far too much. Please don't tell anyone else. Only us two can know about this, please. Who's painted these wild portraits? Captain and Chapardin. Mm. Don't ask me who painted the rest. I don't know. Hurry up and move along. I'm busy. Goodbye. Why are we on the wanted list? Because you tried to overthrow Bellabog, remember? <laughs> Just kidding. I know you're innocent, but after all of that... Captain Japart should have had your arrest warrants cancelled by now. I submitted an application for it in person. <laughs> anyway, I'll check in with him later to confirm everything's okay. It would be terrible if there were any outstanding warrants that weren't revoked. Oh, her, sure. Wait, why the heck her? Why in the world her? Maybe she's just like a random, maybe she's like a daughter or something of them? I don't know. Manu. You again, I just said I'm on break, fine. So what exactly do you want to know? Do you know the Supreme Guardian, Cyril? Hmm, do you know me, Cyril the Fool? Of course, I mean, anyone who's studied a little history has heard of her, right? What made you suddenly interested in this piece of ancient history? I don't have the time for random trivia right now. There's a huge stack of documents on my desk waiting for my approval. I brought something back from Cyril. Is this some kind of sick joke? Ah, uh, okay, I guess. Taking a look won't rob me of much time. What is it? Let me have a check, would you? It's this. I'm flabbergasted. You might have just found an incredible antique item. Based on the Bellabog Convention for the preservation of ancient relics, any antiques found by civilians must be turned over to the architect for proper reservation. I will have to hold on to this ornament that you found. Then what's in it for me, huh? Relax, I won't leave you empty-handed. I'm highly confident that this thing is an authentic relic. I'm sure you'll be compensated handsomely. Hmm, that's right. If you know much about Bellabog's history, you can find out more about Cyril the Fool in the pamphlet. Take it as a souvenir from the administrative department. Okay. I can read it. Okay, finally, I can read it. Oh, wait, it's not what I'm here. It'd be, um... No, not there. It'd be here. Right. Uh, bookshelf. Okay, now should be here. Surreal, surreal, surreal. Hmm. Here it is, found it. I found it the last one. Cyril, often called Cyril the Fool, my later generations, is the eighth supreme guardian of Bellabog. Cyril was born in a remote suburb of the Bellabog world. Orphaned as a young girl, she lived with her sister, Cyrilla, who was one year older than her. Cyril's childhood was rather uneventful, however. Her sister Cyrilla was a child prodigy, displaying amazing proficiency at an early age for language, math, and logic. Cyrilla passed the public service test when she was 11, and was officially selected as an heir to the supreme guardian. However, just on the eve of the architects were about to relocate her residence to Klippas Fort, she mysteriously disappeared. After days of searching without luck, most architects wanted to give up the search and start the air selection process anew. But the Minister of Internal Affairs, Stefan Marquise, was firmly opposed and strongly pushed for Cyrilla's sister, Cyril, to take over as heir to the Supreme Guardian. Stefan Marquez claimed that during his long-term contact with the two sisters, he discovered that Cyril was as talented as her sister, moreover. Delaying the air selection process any longer would impact Bellabog's political stability due to the recency of the Supreme Guardian's untimely death. After heated internal debate, the architects finally approved Stefan's proposal, allowing Cyril to become the new heir. This is a lot to read, fine. 
History has shown us that to rule the point was a carefully planned hoax by the Minister of Internal Affairs, Stefan Marquez. The architect quickly realized that Cyril was extremely mediocre compared to his sister Cyrilla, and was clumsy in social situations. Minister Marquez's power grew stronger by the day during Cyril's tenure, tenor, and his thugs soon retained absolute discretion throughout the Klepos Ford as they issued their draconian decrees. The nickname Cyril the Fool spread throughout the people, and they grew more and more dissatisfied with this puppet supreme guardian as their minister... Ministerial allies. In the 14th year of her tenor, rebels among the architects hatched a secret plot to overthrow Stefan and his cronies. The rebels went over the Silverman Guard's captain and planned on luring Cyril and Stefan to the Silverman Guard restricted zone where they could launch a coup. That day, the Supreme Guardian Cyril attended the military exercise as expected, but the rebels never found any trace of Stefan Marquez. The captain played them at their own game, dispatching a fake patrol of Silverman Guards into the restricted zone with Cyril. And pushing her into an arsenal chest, the guards then rushed to the far north of Bellabog and under, cover, and under the cover of darkness, shoved the unconscious Supreme Guardian in the arsenal chest over the edge of the cliff. Oh, Wally, what the fudge? Holy crap, okay, yikes. No wonder, okay, okay, wow. The rebels carried out a search operation for three days and three nights in Bellabog, but never found any trace of Minister Stefan Marquis. Marquez. To this day, people still attribute the death of the 7th Supreme Guardian and the disappearance of Cyrilla to Marquez's political conspiracy, a claim that, according to Bellabog historians, to this day remains inconclusive and unproven. Oh, so they just chucked her off the cliff, what the fudge? That's a bad story. <laughs>